Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is for standard 9th science and the chapter is study of sound. So I will be covering those questions which are given at the back of the textbook or which are given at the back of every chapter. So now we are covering study of sound that is chapter number 12 in science for standard 9. The roof of a movie theater and a conference hall is curved. Or it may be asked why are the ceiling of concert hall and cinema hall are curved. The ceiling is curved to avoid undesirable reverberation or resonance. Reverberation is also known as resonance. So if we hear unnecessary reverberation or resonance then we will not be able to hear the sound distinctly okay so once we provide the curve to the roof or the ceiling then the unnecessary reverberation is avoided and we will be able to hear the sound or music distinctly okay the intensity of the reverberation is higher in a closed and empty house true when we are talking about an empty house and a closed house, then there is no furniture, no person. So the only thing which are there is ceiling, walls and floor. So because of that, that there is no other means which can absorb the sound which is produced. So because of that, the intensity of reverberation, reverberation will be high. Why cannot we hear echo produced in the classroom. Why cannot we hear okay, the echo which is produced in the classroom? The minimum requirement or the requirement for the echo to be produced is that the distance between the source of sound and the obstacle from where the sound will get reflected should be minimum 17.2 meter or it should be more then 17.2 meter when we are in a room or our classroom so the distance between the floor and the ceiling that is the height is less than 17.2 meter also the distance between the opposite wall is less than 17.2 meter so it is not satisfying the minimum requirement for echo to be produced that's why we are not able to hear echo in the classroom what is the echo? What factors are important to get a distinct echo? Echo is repetition of the original sound due to reflection from some surface. If it is produced and it gets reflected from some surface or obstacle and we are able to hear, okay, that is the repetition of the sound, right? So that is called as echo. And what are the factors required? The sensation of sound last in our brain for 0.1 second and we know that speed is equal to distance upon time so the distance will be speed into time so the distance covered by the sound in 0.1 second will be equal to speed is 344 for sound 344 meter per second so when we multiply the speed and the time that is 344 into 0.1 second we get 34.4 meter so from the source to the obstacle 17.2 and the sound reflects and comes back 17.2 meter so 17.2 meter from the source to obstacle and from the obstacle to the source when it comes back so 17.2 17.2 that is 34.4 meter that is the requirement or the factor which is important for production of a distinct echo okay so uh, regarding the study of construction study the construction of Golgumat at Vijapur and discuss the reason for the multiple echoes produced here this is actually a project which should be done in your classroom but if in your school they are asking that Okay, you get the information, so please send me a message or comment on the comment section in YouTube 
I will try to make a video about the project which is related to the construction of Gold Woman at Vijapur. Okay. What should be the dimension and the shape of the classroom so that no echo can be produced? This we just now discussed earlier in earlier question. That is the distance between the opposite wall and the height of the ceiling. That is the distance between floor and the ceiling and the opposite wall should be less than 17.2 meter because if it is more than 17.2 meter then echo will be produced. Why and where? are sound absorbing material used. Sound absorbing materials are used in auditorium, cinema hall to avoid the production of echo. Okay. So these were the questions which were given at the end of the chapter. Okay. For the chapter study of sound. This is for standard 9 science. Hope you like the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.